Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Thought I'd take the piston bully out again. Brand spanking new, never fired up before batteries until right now. And uh, last video I did, she was chugging, so I think the batteries were getting pretty weak in there. So I thought, let's try some fresh batteries, see how it does. The snow is a little crusty, so I don't think I'm going to be able to, you know, do anything as far as plowing anything, but let's see how it runs. Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to plow any snow, that's for sure. Wow, something amazing. It actually has a little bit of range that it didn't have before. Not too shabby. Those little twist tie spikes I put on are definitely help giving her some good traction though. Alright, let's take this to the backyard. Now we can do a real good range test on this thing. I was having some issues with range, but it uh, looks like some good, fresh, solid batteries uh, are definitely helping this thing. I was pretty sure when I did my uh, main video that those batteries were good and strong, but maybe I did have some battery issues that I wasn't aware of. Well, I'm definitely beyond the... Uh, point where uh, it used to screw up a lot sooner. Let's just keep going and see how far we get before it caps out. Well, now we're at that point. Um, do I want to walk through this junk? Hmm, thinking. What the heck? One, two, three, four, let's say five. Oh, bad idea. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pacing this out. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, we used to calf around 13, 14 feet. I probably got about another six feet. So, seven foot increase before calfing out. Okay, so now I just gotta try and get out of this mess. <clears throat> Snow's pretty deep in the backyard. Woo, that's a little chilly. So, gained a couple of feet for range, but that's about it. Too bad the snow's too crusty. I really like to see how this thing pushes some snow now that we got some really good batteries in here. Wonder if we'll get stuck, you think? Oh, nice, right over top of my footprints. Let's try a little bit wider terrain for that. Definitely too wide. Pretty cool though, doing all right. An extra five, six feet, the an extra five or six feet. Yeah, 
Another bad idea. in reverse. Not gonna happen. Oh well, it was worth a try. So she's running pretty good, got a couple of extra feet with some really good solid batteries. So like I said, maybe the first set of good batteries I put in it when I did my initial running on this thing a while back might have had a pukey battery or two, which can happen just because they're brand new batteries doesn't mean you know you don't have the odd junky one or two in there, because this thing's actually doing a lot better and a little bit extra range, so not too shabby. Uh, so I guess our next stage from this, uh, as far as modifications go, I like the zip tie thing, it's working good. I think the next thing I'll do is uh, see about strapping a driver and maybe a passenger in there. And uh, maybe do something with the lighting, you know, for some night running type of stuff. You know, a little bit here, a little bit there, and maybe, maybe not down the road. Think about possibly seeing about a hobby grade upgrade if I can get the parts cheap enough. The, the, the biggest problem is going to be having to go with dual ESCs and figuring out all that wiring and stuff. And at that point, I'm changing over to a regular servo to run the shovel up and down. And, you know, it may end up being, well, it probably will end up being cheaper just to buy the Kyosho Blizzard. So I probably won't end up doing a hobby grade upgrade on this thing, but I'll definitely put in some better lighting, um, strap in a driver, maybe a passenger with them, because I still have, I think, small enough guys for doing that with. Um, you know, little tiny things, but otherwise, I think it, it, it may end up in the end just being just the way it is with its own radio equipment. It does work well, so what the heck. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, would have been cooler to have some snow to push, but it is getting crusty and winter is leaving us, thank God. So, anyhow, catch you on the next one.